NAD optimization and strategies to boost NAD? Sure. Um, I, there are many different strategies. I, I put them in four major categories. And the first one is you can use uh, the NAD molecule itself, just infuse or inject you know, NAD plus in, in, into the body via some routes, either uh, IV or sub-Q. And so that's the first category. The second category are what we call NAD precursors. And that's NMN, NR, nicotinamide, or niacin. And you, you can also expand it to uh, other supplements like tryptophan. Uh, you know, that it takes a long way to make an NAD from tryptophan, but still, it, it, may, it may work. The third category is through boosting uh, the enzymes that make uh, NAD. And the main one is NAMPT. And the fourth one is to inhibit the enzymes that uh, degrade NAD, or sometimes scientifically I call NAD AIDS. And so these are the four main categories. Based on the data that we have so far, um, we believe, and we know, not we believe, we, we have very strong evidence uh, that the best way to boost intracellular NAD is through the supplementation with uh, uh, NAD precursors. And there are a few important points that I want to make here. The first one is intravenous infusion of NAD does not elevate intracellular NAD levels. And we have a, a clinical trial that we just finished. And we also have data from consumers. Subcutaneous injection of NAD does increase the NAD level inside of the cells a little bit, but it does not allow optimization of the levels. In other words, sub-Q injection NAD is not sufficient in the vast majority of uh, consumers to get an NAD level high enough to be considered optimum. So, yeah, uh, sorry. G could we just talk a little bit about why NAD infusion doesn't work? Because it seems like you're you're avoiding the oral, you're avoiding the stomach, and you're getting directly into the blood. So it should work. But it, so, can you talk a little bit about why it doesn't, or you think why it yeah. doesn't? Uh, I think theoretically, uh, it might work, and that's what uh, people have be believed for thirty years. If you talk to uh, the doctors uh, who uh, use IV uh, NAD infusion for in their clinics, and they will believe that uh, IV infusion should increase the NAD levels uh, inside of the cells when they explain to patients, they believe that NAD IV can boost your NAD levels inside the cells, thus you, you have uh, clinical outcomes. And that's actually not how, how it works. So NAD IV can treat the neurological and infectious diseases as we discussed, because you are increasing circulating NAD levels. So, but NAD itself is too big to get inside the cells. That, that's, most people, almost everyone in the field would agree that that's probably uh, the truth. And, you know, we, we, we don't know uh, until you know, some other data come out, I assume that's true. And then the theory is the NAD molecule gets broken down into smaller pieces, NMN, NR, or nicotinamide, and this NAD metabolites can get inside the cells and reuse to make NAD. That's how 
people expect it to happen. I I don't care how we expect it to happen. You have to look at the facts. The fact is we do not see the increase of NAD level inside of the cells. And I I I think it makes sense because with the NAD IV, you are only giving a small amount of uh, of the molecule, and they get uh, degraded very quickly in the blood. Some of them may get inside of the cells, but it's not sufficient to make enough NAD. And I, the bottom line is, if you are trying to, to increase your intracellular NAD level, uh, you know, betting on uh, IAD infusion is probably not a winning bet. At least I would suggest uh, to test them and find out by yourself whether you are boosting your interest in the NAD uh, with the IV or sub-Q injections. And, but, you know, I want to make it clear, you, you know, if you have neurological conditions or infectious diseases, NAD IV is still potentially a very good treatment. And we just want to make the distinction and make people understand why you are trying to, you, you want to get an NAD uh, IV for what the purposes. And depending on the purposes, you want to choose the right form, the right route of getting your NAD up. And there are too many, you know, too many details. And we, we want to make sure that everyone understands it. I talk to many infusion doctors all the time. Mm -hmm. And I have to repeat what I told you all the time, <laughs> uh, because I I want everyone to understand. You know, you you want to choose the right uh, strategy for the right uh, problem. Otherwise, we are wasting our money and our time. Mm -hmm.